Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I've gotten a lot of requests on how you can game share on the Nintendo Switch, so I figured I'd make a quick guide on this. Now before we get started, game sharing works with digital games only, so for this video I will be using a digital version of AC&H as an example. Now let's use these two switches on screen. Now the top one will be switch number one, and the bottom one will be switch number two. Now switch number one has a digital copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons downloaded under the profile dubbed Snuffy. Now in switch number two, there's a profile called Berry, and you can see that there are no games installed on switch number two. Now the account in switch number two will need a Nintendo Switch Online. Now this is the only thing that is required for game sharing if you want to take the game that you're game sharing online. Now on switch number one, you want to go to the Nintendo eStore. Now once it's loaded up, you want to go ahead and click on your profile on the top left. So navigate up to that. And then you'll see an option where it says manage account settings. Go ahead and click A. And then you want to scroll up till you hit your uh, main name and then you'll get to this page and you want to scroll down until you see primary console and it's going to say this console is registered as your primary console and you want to go ahead and click on the deregister button now it's going to tell you are you sure you want to deregister this console blah 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 go ahead and click on deregister now it's going to come pop up with the screen on telling you to confirm your identity and your um, and your password so go ahead and put that in right now all right now once you've done that you're going to get a message saying that the console has been deregistered uh, the next console you use to open nintendo eShop will be reg uh, will be registered as a primary console so go ahead and click on ok now you can go back to the home screen on this now what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and um, deregister the console on the second switch as well so same steps go ahead and go to the Nintendo switch online you're gonna go up you're gonna click on your profile manage account settings head over to your profile scroll down to primary console and go ahead and click on deregister and then go ahead and put in your password here as well. Now once you went ahead and deregistered that console as well, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you add the player profile from an intent, the first switch onto your second switch, the one that owns the digital game. So since switch number two doesn't have the game and you want a game share onto it, you got to make sure you add this account, aka the Snuffy account that I have. So in order to do that, go to system settings, scroll down to users, and then go down to where it says add user, and then click on import user data from another console. Do you still have the console with the user you want to import? Click yes. Um, actually, no, let's go back. Um, let's go ahead and click no for this option. Do you still have the console with the user you want to import? And then when it says, was your Nintendo account linked to the previous console? Click on yes. And it's going to tell you to link a Nintendo account. Once it does that, go ahead and click on sign in using an email address or sign in ID. And you're going to log into this account here. All right, once you put in your email and you log in, it's gonna say this user will be added to the console and you'll see that the profile came up just as it is on my first switch. Now you're gonna go ahead and click on okay. Now it's gonna say the user has been added to the console. Go ahead and click on okay. Uh, it's gonna say enable automatic save data downloads. I just click later and then that's it. You're gonna go back to the home screen and what you want to do is you want to make sure you transfer over to this user. So let's head over to the Nintendo Switch shop and click on the account that is your main one with the digital game. Now you want to go to your profile, manage account settings, Yes, you 
skip your password, you can click enter, and you're gonna have to put in your password again. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, after you put in your password, let's scroll back to your account info and scroll down to where it says primary console. Now, since you just logged into this, it's gonna already register it as your primary console, and you can double check that right here. Now, if it says deregister, don't deregister it. This is exactly what you want. You wanna make sure that it's registered here. Now, you're gonna go back to your home screen, and now the whole point is downloading the game. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead to the Nintendo eShop, Um, let's go under Snuffy. And then let's go ahead and find Animal Crossing. Now, once you get to the um, Animal Crossing page, you're gonna see that instead of purchase, it's gonna say re-download because this account um, in the eStore already has this game purchased. So you're gonna go ahead and re-download this. Alright guys, now since the game is fully downloaded on your second Switch, you'll notice that if you click A on it, you'll be able to click the user that you want to play with. Now remember that the person who owns this digital game is actually the second account, which is Snuffy, which we um, added in from the very first Switch. Now you can go ahead and click on the very first account now and they'll have access to play that game. And you'll see that the game is loading up. Now if you go ahead on your very first switch, there's going to be something different that pops up when you try to play the game. So you're going to go ahead, click on the game, and you're going to see that it says checking if the software can be played. So basically, it knows that it's uh, the Nintendo eStore isn't linked to that account on the very first switch. So it's always going to check online to see if it belongs to that user before it launches the game. Now that's how you game share guys. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to join the Discord server or leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.